I am a woman in my 20s and I have a professional job, which means that I'm often required to wear essentially business wear. And it is so difficult to find clothes that fit me and look good. I'm sure I can't be the only woman having this problem and so today I want to show you the work dresses that I wear regularly in the hope that if, like me, you are a female in a professional job but you also want to look good, that this might serve as a little bit of inspiration for some different shops to have a look at for you. Equally, like I said, I have the same problem, so if, like me, you are a professional woman and you struggle to find fashionable clothes, then please tell me the shops that you tend to buy from in the comments down below. So let's get onto the dresses. I'm not planning to try everything on just because I've got makeup on and I'm gonna get makeup over everything if I'm constantly pulling dresses over my head. So I'm just gonna hold them up so you can see them. So this first dress is from Lipsy and so it kind of goes down to mid-calf length and it's got these lovely gold buttons on and a racer top. It's very much bodycon, um, you can probably see that as I'm holding it up, but it is really comfy because it's like stretchy material. I just really like it. I, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, but I really love the gold button detailing. I bought this in the Boxing Day sales in 2022, and I think I got it from Next. I bought this navy dress, which is also quite tight fitting. I don't know if you can see, but it kind of all comes to like a point here, so it's got this kind of detailing on it. And then in terms of the neckline, it's almost sweetheart with this little cross section, but it's not. And again, it's not very low cut, which is good. And again, this is another kind of form fitting one. In terms of length, it comes to probably just above my knee. And again, this is quite a stretchy material, so it is really comfy to wear. This was also bought in March 2020. And I don't think I got to wear this at all before the lockdown, but I've worn it a lot since. Next up is this Old Faithful kind of bottle green dress and it's got a tie in the middle. This I bought from Dorothy Perkins, RIP. I bought this probably about five years ago and I love it. So it's got a round neckline, it's got little cap sleeves. But what I love about this is that it can be worn in the winter as well. So it looks great with a pair of black tights, black cardigan or a blazer, but equally it can be worn kind of spring and autumn as well. It's got kind of more of an A-line bottom. And again, in terms of length, it's kind of just about hits the knee. I've worn this so much. It's definitely a staple of my work wardrobe. Next up, this is a dress from Boohoo that I actually haven't worn yet. So it's just plain black all the way down. And you can see it's kind of straight and it's quite long. It's got this quite deep V-neck, but actually I think it's, it's okay. It's kind of professional enough. It's got these little sleeves and this one's a bit longer so it actually goes just below the knee. As I say I haven't worn this yet but I kept it because it's super stretchy so it's going to be really comfy. It's another kind of form fitting one as you can see. And really I just haven't had a chance to wear this because it's so low cut at the front. I don't want to wear it unless it's going to be like warm weather. <laughs> so I'm sure I will wear this at some point. I can't remember how much this cost but if it's from Boohoo it, then it wouldn't be breaking the bank. Next up is another old classic favourite from Dorothy Perkins for me. So it's this kind of deep purple dress. It's got three quarter sleeves and it's got again kind of an A-line skirt with little pleats in it. I just love this because again it's like the green one, it's just so easy to wear and it looks really good with black tights so it's great for the winter and obviously the slightly longer sleeves. I've had this dress at least five years. I think I've had this one longer than I've had the green one. And you'll see that a lot of my work wardrobe is Dorothy Perkins, and so I'm very upset that it now only exists online, but at least it does still exist. And again, I bought this so long ago that I can't remember how much I paid for it. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you will have seen me wearing this dress, and it's this one which has become a bit of a recent favourite. So I can't remember where I bought this one from. The tag says QED London, and I feel like maybe it's next or possibly quiz, but it's got it's navy blue and it's got these white spots on it and it's kind of got like a chiffony top layer. So it's got a v-neck here, again little sheer sleeves and then it's got a tie around the middle and this one's got a zip to open up. In terms of length, again it's about knee length and it's quite nice because it's fitted at the top and then obviously it's a-line so it goes out at the waist. Again it's just so easy to wear and it goes from spring all the way through to winter. You can wear it as it is or with black tights. So this is one that I have worn to death since I bought it last year. This dress I've had for probably 10 years. I've had this for a very long time and it's lasted so well. So it's this kind of maroon color with white hearts on it. It's from New Look and you can see from the branding in the tag how old it is. It's got a pulled in 
waistband and again it's kind of fitting at the top and then goes out into an a-line skirt in terms of length it's about knee length and again this is another great one that can take you through all seasons it looks great with tights or a black cardigan but it also looks great kind of as it is just as a chuck it on I've got absolutely no idea how much this cost because I've had it for so long but it, it's done me really well I love this next dress but the problem is I can only wear it in the summer so it's this mustard coloured dress. This is from Dorothy Perkins and I bought it in the sale quite a while ago. I mean it was obviously before Dorothy Perkins went into administration and it's got this belt that goes around the middle, it's got little sleeves and then again it's got a zip at the back. So mustard is one of my favourite colours and so when I saw this I could not resist it. Also I think because it's very tailored it makes me feel very serious and professional. <laughs> but everyone always compliments the colour whenever I wear this to the office. Again, I can't remember how much this was. It might have been a little bit more just because it is more of the tailored style, but it's beautiful and I love it. And in terms of length, um, this one's a bit longer. It's kind of mid-calf for me, but as I say, I am a very small person, so it would probably go to just below the knee on a normal height person. These next three dresses I'm gonna cover reasonably quickly because I've shown them in haul videos before. So this first one is from New Look. I bought this in the Boxing Day sales uh, 2022, year just gone. And it's got this, um, I don't really know what you call it, but it's got this black and white pattern on it. It's got three quarter length sleeves and then it's got buttons all down the front as well. In terms of length, it's about knee length, so it's a good length for me. I think this was probably like seven or 10 pounds because I bought it in the sale. And it's another versatile dress that can be worn kind of as it is in the summer or you can wear it with black tights in the winter. And then next up is another new look sale dress that I bought from Boxing Day this year. So it's this blue kind of animal print one with a pulled in little waist and then buttons down the front. This one's got short sleeves. And again, it's just a really comfortable one, looks great with tights, but also it'll be absolutely great in the spring. And then finally, this green kind of chain detail dress that's also from New Look, and I'm pretty sure I bought this one in the sale as well. This one is petite and it's got long sleeves that are kind of capped at the end, buttons down the front again, are you sensing a theme? <laughs> And this one's a bit more A-line. Um, in terms of length, it hits the knee. And then it's also got a pulley bit to go around the waist. Again, very versatile, easy to wear. With the length of the sleeves, it's probably not great for when it's boiling hot, but looks great with tights or can be worn without. Sorry if the lighting's going in and out, by the way, but I can't control the sun. <laughs> Next up is another dress from Quiz, and I loved this one. I was so pleased that it fitted, and it's this. So it's got a very deep v-neck, so I do wear it with a top underneath. It's also got padded shoulders, which is quite interesting, but the reason that I loved this so much is because of the sleeves. So you can see that they're long, but look, they've got a cut in them, so they're like cape sleeves. I'll see if I can show you. So look, when you wear the dress, it's kind of like that. I love it, I think it's really cool. So this is from the standard range rather than the petite range, which I think is why it's so low cut basically. In terms of length, again, it's about knee length, maybe just under. And it's this, again, kind of emerald green, really beautiful color and I just love this dress. Again, the low cut isn't ideal, but I just wear it with a plain black top like this one underneath and um, yeah, I just think it's something a little bit different. We're coming towards the end now and um, this dress is from Boohoo and I've had this one for a very long time. I might have bought this when I was at university so again this could be 10 years old or more but it's just this plain grey dress, it's got long sleeves, it's kind of jersey material so it's stretchy. Um, little peplum and then it finishes I think just above the knee. So again if this came from Boohoo it wouldn't have been that expensive especially if it was like 10 years ago and it's just comfy and it's a classic and the great thing about this is that I've got a couple of brightly coloured blazers so I can just chuck those on with this dress and not have to think too much about putting the outfit together. This next dress is from Primark, although the tag says Atmosphere, so I've obviously had this for a long time as well. Um, so this is just another plain grey dress. You'll see it's just straight all the way down, so it's kind of like bodycon. Long sleeves, and then it's got these kind of stripes built in. Ribs, I should have said. But again, it's just really easy to chuck it on and not have to think too much about it. And obviously this goes with my brightly coloured blazers as well. Again, if this was Primark and when they were Atmosphere, then it was probably like five pounds at the time. Second to last one now, so this one is from Marks and Spencers, it's from, oh it says limited edition, I don't know if that's the brand, um, but it's this kind of, again, bodycon style, but it's this grey and black, I don't know if you call it like flecked material, 
long sleeves and obviously it's got these little keyhole cut out bits. I bought this in the sale and I think it was again when I was at university so this is probably close to 10 years old. But again it's another classic, it's M&S so it's really good quality, it's lasted so well. And it's great for the winter because it's quite a thick dress as well, as well as being long sleeved. And again it's grey so it goes with my brightly coloured blazers. <laughs> Like I say, I got this in the Boxing Day sale and I think it might have been like 20, 25 pounds. And then last but not least, a dress that I haven't actually worn in a little while, but it is still, I guess, a work dress because it's in my wardrobe and it's this one. <laughs> so this is from Topshop, again, RIP. Um, and it's got these three quarter sleeves and it's also got a zip across the middle, which opens. I don't think this was intended as a work dress. <laughs> I bought this when I was at university and I used to wear it to the clubs. <laughs> But it's such a cool dress, I really like it, and I think I can get away with it. I'm sure I bought this in the sale, I can't remember how much it was. And also, fun fact, I'm sure that Santana wears this dress in Glee. But yeah, it's, um, it's just a really lovely dress. I might have to find myself wearing this sometime soon. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that tour around my work dresses. If you want to see kind of my other workwear, so top, skirts, trousers, the colourful blazers I've been talking about, then make sure to leave me a comment and let me know. And if you like this kind of video, then you might also like to see my Thailand try-on haul, which you can watch here. Don't forget to press my face to subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!